Okay, so good morning everyone. Um, my name is Sheila Mejos from or the Dean of the College of Computing and Information Sciences. So before I will start, um, do you know do you know that we are rapidly approaching to the fifth industrial revolution? Okay, so we are rapidly uh, uh, rapidly approaching to the fifth industrial revolution. So Yung kanina na ipinakita ng dole, we are on the fourth revolution pa. But actually, we are already approaching to the fifth industrial revolution. Now, what is industrial revolution ba? If you would say industrial revolution, it is the, tra the transition of new processes through machines. So, ano-ano ba yung mga revolution na yun? Yung first revolution, it is introducing of mechanical production facilities, uh, driven by water and steam power. So the picture illustrates in your screen that um, yung train, it uses uh, water or yung steam power in order to transport from one area to another. The second revolution naman, it is the division of labor, of mass production that was enabled by electricity. So the picture in your screen shows uh, the mass production using electronic sewing machines. And the third revolution, it is uh, the automation of production through electronic and IT systems. So yung sa screen ninyo, that is a uh, automated production of cars. And yung fourth revolution naman, which was mentioned kanina sa dole, the fourth revolution, um, this is about or introducing robotics, artificial intelligence, uh, augmented reality, virtual uh, reality. So this is the beginning or the beginning stage of the 21st century. So in your screen, that is an example of a driverless cars. Dito po tayo, yung Philippines, dito po tayo pa sa fourth revolution, fourth industrial revolution. However, other countries is already uh, approaching or uh, na, uh, nags-start na sila into the fifth revolution. Ano ba yung fifth revolution? This is the deep multi-level cooperation between people and machine. This is the middle stage po ng 21st century. So, meet Pepper. That is Pepper. He is a cognitive robot developed from Japan and he was launched last April 21 of this year only. So, it is really unstoppable, yung innovation. Different areas or fields such as yung health, education, transportation, and even the government offices are already into innovation. So, which means they need more educated professionals who can develop software, design websites, manage databases, and also the ones that will systematically organize, conserve, and preserve information using technology. So, in demand po talaga tayo, not only here in the Philippines, but, but also in other countries. So luckily here in Southern Christian College, through our the College of Computing and Information Sciences, we are currently offering four computing programs. First is the Bachelor of Compu uh, Bachelor of Science in Computer Science or BSCS. This is a four-year program that studies about computing concepts and theories. Yung algorithmic foundations and new developments in computing. The fundamental concern of this program is determining what can and cannot be automated. So here in SEC po, we prepare students to design and create algorithmically complex um, software and develop new and effective algorithms for solving computing problems. After graduation, ito po yung mga opportunities na naghihintay sa inyo. You can be a computer programmer, a system software developer, a software engineer, system analyst, intelligent system engineer, computing researcher, game developer, or a programmer, mobile app developer, data scientist, 
data engineer, data analyst, and many more pa po yung naghihintay. And, okay, ito po yung mga basic salaries. Ngayon pa lang po yan, ha, sa year na ito, 2021. So, ito po yung mga basic salaries na naghihintay if ever na ito yung pipiliin ninyo na program. And, currently, kahapon lang po, ito yung mga na-post na mga um, uh, high rings. So, and also, it is already indicated there kung ano yung mga salary rates niya. Okay, this is another and many more pa po. Then, another program po is the Bachelor of Science in Information Technology or BSIT. Still, it is also a four-year program that will equip students with the basic ability to conceptualize, design, and implement software application. So, here in SEC, we prepare students to be IT professionals who are able to perform installation, operation, development, maintenance, and administration or of computer um, application. So, the goal of this program is uh, to be able to produce information technologies who can assist individuals and organizations in solving problems using information technology. So, it is actually this is the same in BSCS. However, you will not study about how to change the way computer things or your process just like the SES, but instead, you will going to utilize or take advantage kung ano yung mga capabilities ng computer in order to develop computing solutions that will improve humans' workplace or their way of living. So, for example, ito yung manual computation, and when you will uh, choose this course, yung manual way na yan, we will shift or we will change that one we will innovate that one into automation na then okay these are the different opportunities na naghihintay po if you will choose this uh, program software developer or programmer network computer systems administrator project leader or it project managers mobile game web developer, computer user support specialist, computer systems analyst, and many more. So, ito po yung mga basic salaries and also napakarami pong job opportunities or high wings na naghihintay po sa inyo. And also, the third program naman here in SSC is the Bachelor of Science in Information Systems. This is also a four-year program that will provide students with foundation knowledge on organizations and information and communication technology. It allows students to understand how ICT can enable um, organizations to improve performance and achieve competitive advantage. Here in SEC, we train students to develop strong analytical, technical, and leadership skills to thrive in a global environment as future information systems professional. This program po will prepare students to become professionals with primary competencies in systems integration implementation, system evaluation, quality assurance, and software maintenance. In short po, this, okay, this will um, mold students in order to become thinkers of how to improve business processes using technology. They are on the top level of the organization, just like the managers. And the job opportunities, ito po yung job opportunities, organizational processes analyst, data analyst, solutions analyst, systems analyst, IS personal, project personnel, and user trainer, documentation specialist, quality assurance specialist, system support specialist, and many more pa po. And ito po yung kanyang uh, mga rates. Salary rates and the opportunities we have here, the different opportunities and also the salary uh, rates. And lastly po, we have the Bachelor of Library in Information Science. This is a four-year program then po, but with board examination. And it will prepare students to develop 
or in terms of development, deployment, and management of information resources in print, non-print, electronic, and digital format. So here in SEC, we produce librarians that will not only prepare or will not only preserve information, assist students in the library, but also produce system analysts that will think on how to improve the library systems. So these are the different opportunities uh, after graduation. You can be a library in information science. Boy, uh, okay, sorry. You can be an abstractor, cataloger, geographic information systems, librarian, academic librarian, conservator, conservator or vator, indexer, accusations librarian, corporate librarian, information librarian or specialist, archivist, database librarian, law librarian, and library application developer. So ito po yung mga opportunities or mga uh, job hirings for this program or having this program. So be part of the growing community of innovators. Be a solution maker. Choose SEC, choose CCIS. We teach, you learn, together we build a better world. Powered by intellect, driven by innovation, we make it happen. So thank you and once again, good morning.